Listen, guys, I don't want to be dealing with some copyright issues, so that's the version of the song you're getting, okay? Mm. It's good. Happy Valentine's Day! I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. It is a Sex and the City season six throwback look. And of course, I couldn't make this video without a Cosmo. You're probably also noticing that my hair is a different color. You know, sometimes I just like to mix things up. What can I say? So if you guys watch Sex and the City, you're gonna love this. And I mean, if you didn't watch Sex and the City, meh, you're still probably gonna have a good time. So season six was broken up into two parts. There was a part A and a part B. This is specifically an ode to the makeup look of season 6B. Sex and the City went through a lot of phases. I think that's what's really fun about watching that show, but I'm gonna tell you what, they didn't always get it right, okay? Sometimes the costuming choices were very interesting. Oh, Carrie, honey, no. I just think in season six, they totally nailed it and got it right. So today we're focusing specifically on Carrie Bradshaw's makeup. So you can see Sarah Jessica Parker is sporting that really flushed cheek. She also has just a really beautiful, subtle, smudged, smoky eye. And then there's always just a very light black liner lining her entire eye. You've also got that glowy cheek that just looks like you had a roll in the hay and the lips are just flushed and natural and glossy and beautiful. Mm, gotta slow down on that. So we're just gonna start right in and I'm going to get super chatty about season six and then occasionally I'll let you know what I'm putting on my face. There's a lot to discuss, okay? All of the characters are going through major life change. So you've got Carrie, who has fallen in love with Alexander Petrovsky, who is played by Mikhail Baryshnikov. Is there anything Baryshnikov can't do? I mean, geez Louise. His acting is so natural and believable. He is definitely a reason why I loved season six. Carrie falls in love with him and he basically asks her to move to Paris with him and she does. Cynthia Nixon, who plays Miranda, moves to Brooklyn, which, oh my god, it's like so awful. That's a part of the storyline where I can't roll my eyes hard enough. I realized that Brooklyn maybe wasn't as trendy back then as it is now. Regardless, whatever. Charlotte is upset because she can't get pregnant. Oh, by the way, I mean, I guess I should have said spoiler alert, but sorry, if you guys haven't watched season six yet, you guys have had a really long time to catch up. So sorry, not sorry. And then Samantha, played by Kim Cattrall, finds out that she has breast cancer. Let's play the game where we decide what characters we are. After many years of intense consideration, I have finally decided that I am a Carrie Miranda. My two favorite characters of the entire series are Miranda and Samantha. They're always gonna get real. They're a little bit spicy. They're gonna tell it like it is, but they also get it and are super cool. Kim Cattrall had some of the best delivered one-liners I've ever heard. That woman is giving you commitment. There is a scene in season six where Samantha is sitting at the doctor's office awaiting her results. She is wearing a pair of hot pink high heels. I just I can't. I'm sorry. I laughed out loud. I have never seen anyone do this in Manhattan. I love you sex in the city, but your shoe fetish is absurd. My least favorite character on the series has always been Charlotte. I don't dislike her. She just annoys the hell out of me. She is just so pretty, pretty princess and whiny like a child and I just can't. That's how you break blush. By the way, now I'm going to do my eyes and I'm using one of my favorite colors. This is called Satin Taupe. It's by MAC. Pretty much what I'm gonna use on my entire eyelid and just smudge it out to give you that Carrie eye. So Miranda and Carrie have this really epic fight toward the end of season six. She feels like Carrie is giving up herself and everything she has and who she is in order to just move to France last minute with Mikhail Baryshnikov. Carrie quit her job as a columnist for a prominent newspaper in New York City to move to France and kind of give up everything she stands for, or at least that's how Miranda sees it. And Carrie's point of view is that she's watched all of her friends move on with their lives in terms of men, and she still remains this single girl. And her accusation is that there's something in Miranda that just wants to keep Carrie in that place. And all the while, Big, how do you guys feel about Big, has been leaving message after message for Carrie, trying to get a hold of her. And Carrie keeps deleting the messages. Anyway, back to the fight. This is probably one of the most well done scenes in the entire series. You can really feel how much love these women not only have for each other in terms of their characters in the show, but also how much love they have for each other in life. And it feels like this really epic, real argument 
it between friends. If you're gonna watch anything in season six, I recommend you go back and watch that scene because I think they deserve an award. So Carrie goes off to France with Mikhail and he is just like putting her in the lap of luxury. She's wearing these insane ball gowns every night. She has nothing to do. She's just wandering the streets, going to museum after museum, eating croissants, being sad, not speaking the language. Falls on her face in the Dior store. All the French people, <laughs> If you're French, don't be mad at that impression, okay? But they really came off like assholes in that scene. Also, I have to say, Carrie, maybe don't wear stilettos walking around France when it's downpouring. I just literally spilled that everywhere. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Dark Pearl. It's very similar to the color I just put all over my lid, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it to rim my eye and just kind of smoke things out a little bit more. So basically what happens is, you know, her friends are missing her back in New York. They're trying to let her go. And Carrie calls after a week. She's desperately homesick. She calls Miranda from a payphone. She's really sad. She feels really lost. Alexander is constantly working. She's alone all the time. So Charlotte goes to Carrie's apartment to, I don't know, pick something up for Carrie or something. I can't remember the reason. She checks Carrie's voicemail and she hears a voicemail from Big. Basically is spilling his heart over the phone and saying that thing that Carrie was always waiting to hear, which is, I love you. Charlotte tells the girlfriends and they basically call Big and enlist him to go and get our girl. I'm like plowing through this. Who is your favorite guy character on the show? I know people have a lot of strong feelings about Big. Admittedly, he did suck in a lot of ways. He led Carrie on. He was kind of a man about town. I do have my issues with Big, but the reason I think their story is so amazing because while he was kind of a mess throughout the seasons, so was she, you know what I mean? But they never lost that love for each other. So he goes to France. Mikhail Baryshnikov is just really immersed in his work. He's an artist and he's just not present and not around for her. She has this horrible argument with him about it. Big is in Paris searching all over for her. Finally finds her at the hotel. And long story short, he whisks her away. She comes back to New York. You know, the Parisian life, the Mikhail Baryshnikov life was not for her. And she sort of had to get lost to get found again. So now I am lining my eyes with my Urban Decay at 24 seven and zero because Sarah Jessica Parker's eyes always had this very light black rim around the lash line. You know, everything resolves. Carrie goes back to New York with Big. Big tells her that he just put his California house on the market. He's coming back to New York City to be with her. And her narration in the last scene proclaims that the most important relationship you have is the one you have with yourself. Okay, Carrie, you better preach. I have to tell you, my boyfriend actually watched Sex in the City, which I was stunned and impressed by. You know, at the time he was young and he was like well I wanted to you know know what it was all about so he was renting this series from the public library because you know obviously it's a well-written series and he said he wanted to get into the mind of women and kind of understand them more somehow he never watched part B because it wasn't available in the library. So he never saw the ending of the series, so I made him watch it with me. Or rather, I was watching it and he kept setting his phone down and watching it with me and I was like, you wanna like finish watching this with me though? And he's like, yes. Guys, it's a good series, let's be honest. I mean, I will say there's a lot of the series that has not aged well. You know, there's not a lot of diversity in the series and Sarah Jessica Parker has come out and addressed that. The biggest point of sadness for me regarding Sex and the City is all of the tension between Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall that has come out in the media. You know, when I watch their scenes now, they are so incredible and all I can think is, wow, if these women disliked each other as much as now we know they apparently did, they are doing a hell of a job acting. I mean, Sarah Jessica Parker won't really admit that it's the case. Kim Cattrall seems really bitter. I'd be lying if I said that sometimes when I'm watching this series, it doesn't kind of taint how I feel about it. This is actually something that my boyfriend pointed out and I'm kind of mad at him for it because now it's all I can see. A lot of their scenes are just shots of them individually, which makes you wonder, did they shoot the scene separately so they didn't have to interact on set? I don't know. So who are your favorite male characters on this series? 
series. Now, this character isn't in season six, but I do feel like the most loved male character on the show was probably Aiden. Everyone is like, oh, Aiden was the one who got away. Carrie should have ended up with him. I thought he was cool. I would have been down with that. I also like the fact that he was just more down to earth. He wasn't this high rolling, bougie ass guy. He was just himself and he was really comfortable with that. I think that the male characters in the show are really strong. So I'm really a fan of all of the male characters who stuck around. I think the men are perfect counterpoints to the women. Samantha ending up with Smith, I just love that character. I think he is so sweet. He's so loyal to her, even after she frankly treated him terribly in some ways. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the cheeks, which is kind of the star of the show for this whole look as far as I'm concerned, because Carrie was really rocking the whole snow bunny flush cheek situation. I'm gonna take two different NARS blushes. This is Desire and this is Exhibit A. Valentine's Day, oh crrr. Can I get a nice little mix going here? You want to almost go a little too far. I mean, you don't actually want to go too far, but you want to like almost get there. You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe I put on too much blush. Nope, it's perfect. I'm going to use my Glossier Halo Scope in the color Quartz. Sarah Jessica Parker's look in season six is very dewy. We're going to go along the cheekbone right up into the apple of the cheek. Boop. It's just right there. You could use a powder highlighter, but I just really feel like with cream, I can control the situation and it looks even more natural and dewy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, I have to step away and make myself another Cosmo because I went through mine. Okay, don't worry, I made another. My least favorite storyline of the sixth season is Charlotte's. You know, she's really insecure and upset that she can't get pregnant. So her and Harry get this darling little King Charles Cavalier. She gets pregnant and Charlotte is conflicted and upset with the dog. I just, I can't with the whole dog plot line. I think it's ridiculous. So now we're gonna move on to lips. And honestly, I used the Glossier Cloud Paint earlier just to kind of stain them. I'm just kind of kind of do that and then put some gloss over them. I'm gonna use this is a very almost sheer lip gloss with barely any pigment whatsoever. Oh no actually there's a little pink to it. Oh well. The thing that I loved a lot about this season is I feel like the women all looked really soft. Everyone was just very much the best version of themselves and that's why I loved the aesthetic of that season so much. You guys, thank you so much for joining me for my Sex in the City throwback look. I feel like Sex in the City is a perfect show to sort of encapsulate Valentine's Day because not only is it about romantic relationships, it's also about platonic relationships and the relationship you have with yourself. I mean, I'm into that. If you guys are enjoying my videos, please like, subscribe, and share, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. And I'm a little toasty. Um, Mikhail Baryshnikov, oh, Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Okay, bye.